breaking us for lunch. And I'm like, I don't want to go to lunch. You know what I mean? Like, couldn't like, it's a two day class. Like, and I've taken it twice. You know, you can't wait to come back the next day and you're laughing half the time. You know, you break up the class like so well. You're not just sitting there. It's not monotone. Like, you know, you spend just as much time laughing as you do silent, like learning it because you're like, you know, everything that you, you project in, it's like everything's good. It's broken up. And, you know, I've taken it with multiple buddies. Like, each time I took it, you know, I bring people and they're just like, dude, that was awesome. Your, your attention's grabbed and you're not bored, you're not nodding out, you know. No one's tired and getting up in the back and standing there. Guys are like, you look around the room, guys are interested to learn, everyone's laughing, like everyone's looking at each other like when like a good slide comes up, we're like, holy shit, like that, that, that'll work, you know. So it was awesome. Basically the instructions on how you went through everything, um, kind of put it into slow motion, and then the case law, with, you know, a lot of cops know what they can do, but they don't know why they can do it or, or where to find the case law. So you brought that all out together for us. You brought how to do it and what, where you find it to explain it to people. When I brought it back to my department and um, I explained and, and did the best I could to, to bring out what you taught, there was an instant improve, improvement in um, just the arrests and, and the way that these guys went about their business. And that was just me delivering my little portion of it. So now we've made the decision that everybody's just gonna go to the class because it's much better explained in that environment. Most importantly, what you can tell, um, and you kind of even said before, how your passion comes through, you're passionate about it. Like you go to these classes and these guys are just, you know, reading off PowerPoints and you're, and you're just like, this guy doesn't want to be here. I don't want to be here. But you, you get hyped up, you get excited. Um, you bring like your, your real knowledge, you show videos of yourself out there, and, and you're passionate, and that, and that keeps you know, those around you passionate and wanting to learn more. You teach uh, officers what they need to know to be proficient at their job and to stay ahead of the game. Um, you, you teach little tricks of the trade, things that have worked for you, and uh, more importantly, you, you kind of emphasize the fact that um, you know, this is case law. You use this to your advantage. There's a whole 1,200 page book here of things that you are allowed to legally do to improve your skills and beat these criminals. My material comes from my experiences, the experience of myself and other police officers, uh, all those notes that I wrote on the side of the road and that, that legal notepad, and then criminal case law books, Title 39, 2C, but for even the out-of-state program, and we, don't, we redact a lot of that New Jersey language and put that that real general good stuff in there for everybody else. And it's just, the stuff is legal. Um, you know, there's nothing in the class that taught that's not legal, it's all legitimate. It's all the way, it, you know, it's, it's everything that it's, that I, that I claim it to be. But I will tell you that everything that I teach uh, is proficient and I'm very well versed with the law. And there's agencies that send every single cop they have two times over to my training because they appreciate and see the value of my training as much as possible. Yeah.